You mentioned free elections in Gaza, and it's so great that they have free elections, which I am definitely behind. But you also mentioned how they elected Hamas, so I looked up the Hamas charter, and I just wanted to quote a few things and then see your thoughts on those. So Article 28, um, Muhammad is dead. He left his daughters behind. Israel, by virtue of it being Jewish and of having a Jewish population, defies Islam and the Muslims. Let the eyes of the cowards not fall asleep. We, we can agree that the Hamas Charter is horrible, but now let's look at the Hamas Charter. The Hamas Charter was written by maybe half a dozen people uh, in 1988 at a time, at a moment of an extreme Israeli attack on Gaza. It has no status. They've repeated over and over again that it doesn't apply anymore. And if you're interested in charters, why keep to that? Uh, take the governing party in Israel, Likud. Uh, it, uh, it, it grew out of Cherut. That's its uh, ideological center, Begin's Cherut, Netanyahu's Cherut. Its position, never changed, is that the land of Israel, that the entire land of Israel belongs to the Jews. That includes today's Jordan, okay? In fact, the old slogan was both sides of the Jordan. That's ours and this is too. too. They've never changed that. Uh, so that's their charter. Does anybody pay attention to it? Of course not. So you've mentioned Israel's faults many times, which I think we can all agree it has significant Pardon? problems. And as an activist, we want to deal with Israel's faults. But Sorry, you, who, I didn't hear. Okay. I think we can all agree that Israel has many faults. And that, Israel has many faults. Yeah, yeah, and that we would like to do something about that. Um, what do you envision us also doing about pa Palestinian faults and how as an activist can we... Um, deal with what the Palestinians have been doing, what Hamas has been doing, and yeah, what do you see with that? What, I mean, Hamas are not my friends. I don't like what they do. <laughs> but they've been doing not much. What they've been doing is what I described. I didn't have time to go through the pattern, but I'll repeat it. You can find it. Starting in November 2005, an agreement was reached between Israel and the Palestinian Authority then, not Hamas. Uh, Israel completely rejected it, and Hamas lived up to it, not a single rocket. Then came the January election, and Israel intensified its attack with U.S. support. After that, there are repeated attacks, Israeli attacks, and ceasefires agreements. Every ceasefire agreement is approximately like what I read. What happens is Israel completely dismisses and disregards it, and maintains the siege in violation of the ceasefire, increases the violence. Hamas lives up to it, and Israel officially accepts that, until, agrees to that, until some escalation of Israeli violence leads to a Hamas reaction, and then another episode of mowing the lawn. That's been going on since November 2005. Hamas is not a nice organization. They do a lot of rotten things. That's for the Palestinians to worry about. But it has nothing to do with us. If we were supporting Hamas, nothing, zero. If we were supporting Hamas, it would be our problem. But we're not. And what they do is for Palestinians to deal with. What we deal with is what we are doing, which is supporting massive criminal operations all over the region, blocking peace. Uh, that's for us to be concerned about. Those who are supporting Hamas can worry about Hamas.